Are you freaking out about your exams? Well, relax, you got this. In this video, I'm going to share with you 20 simple tips to help you go into the exam room with less nerves and more confidence. Now, on the night before, don't cram. I know it's tempting to try to cram in everything the night before, but exam eve should really be reserved for just light revision and review. Don't try learning new material or trying to teach yourself a whole new topic. That is not going to work. So don't cram. Do what you know. Just review what you know. Secondly, try to get some sleep. Don't go to sleep too late. Burning the midnight oil, trying to cram, that is only going to result in a tired body and brain the next morning. And that is going to prevent you from focusing and keeping alert during the exam. Your body needs rest, especially your brain if it's going to function properly. So make sure you get enough sleep that night. Thirdly, be sure to set an alarm to wake you up nice and early on exam day. Especially if you know you tend to oversleep and maybe your parents don't help you out in waking you up, you definitely want to set an alarm. So you don't want to oversleep that morning. Now on the morning of the exam, don't eat too heavy. Eating a heavy breakfast full of all that refined sugars and greasy foods, that's only going to make you sluggish. And you might want to pass on the milk that morning because it could possibly give you an upset stomach before the exams and you're already a little nervous to begin with. So you certainly don't want that upset stomach. So it's best to have a light, healthy breakfast to energize you and help you concentrate. So fruits and yogurt, maybe some oats, eggs, some toasted whole grain bread and a cup of tea. Nothing too heavy, nothing too greasy. Now, although you want to be hydrated to keep your brain working well, don't over drink. You don't want to drink too much water right before the exam. That is only going to make you feel like going to the bathroom during the exam and then you're going to waste time. That's time that you cannot get back. So try to keep down on the water before the exam. Now, you don't want to be late for the exam. Make sure you get to the exam venue early so you can settle down and relax yourself. The last thing you want to be doing is rushing into the exam room late, all hot and bothered. That is only going to make you more stressful and panicky and you're not going to be able to focus on that exam paper properly. So try to be early. Now, you can't forget your essentials. Your ID card, all your stationery, your clipboard, calculator if it's allowed. Don't forget your timetable slit with all the relevant information needed to enter the exam room and complete the information in your answer booklets. Make sure you have everything that you need. You can walk with them in maybe a clear Ziploc bag or folder, but don't forget your essentials. Now, right before the exam, avoid anxious classmates. Don't hire around other students who are stressing and doing last minute cramming. Often that's only gonna make you more nervous especially if you realize that they are discussing topics that you may not even know that well. It can cause you to panic and get all flustered. Just keep focused on what you do know. Try listening to some calming, relaxing, uplifting music before the exams to, to calm you down and get you focused. But try to avoid the nervous, anxious classmates. Now, try to keep positive. Be positive. Believe in yourself and your abilities. Don't get all pessimistic and speak negatively about how you think you're going to do in the exam. Be positive. Now, don't forget to pray. Pray before the exam begins. Ask God to calm your nerves, guide your thoughts, and bring back to memory whatever you study. Pray for understanding of what the questions are asking for. Pray that you will be able to apply your knowledge well and answer the questions to the best of your ability. Now, during the exam. Now, when you get the exam paper, don't let anxiety get the best of you. Relax, take a deep breath, 
pray again before you're ready to start. Now, the first thing you want to do is scan through the entire paper quickly before you even begin to attempt any question. By doing this, you can get an idea of the topics on the paper and select the easiest ones to do first. Now, before answering any question, make sure you read through the instructions carefully and understand exactly what they are asking you. Underline any key points that will help you to answer the question. Now, always answer the easiest questions first. This is going to boost your confidence, you know, make you feel good and prevent you from wasting too much time. Now, speaking of wasting time, don't do it. Do not waste time. Don't spend too long on one question. If you realize a question is challenging, don't get stuck on it. Move on to another one. Now, try your best not to look around at other students in the exam room. That's only going to get you distracted by what they're doing. Mind your own business. Keep your eyes fixed on your paper and focus on what exactly you have to do. If you need some time to think, try closing your eyes rather than staring around the room. Now, don't miss out any questions. Do not ever leave anything out. If you think you don't know the answer, it's still best to write down something, anything, and at least have the chance to get it right. A blank space is a guaranteed zero marks, so it makes sense to write something, anything. Now, make sure that you leave some time to review your answers after you have finished your exam. You might often spot some mistakes during this check over time. So always make sure you get through the exam paper in good time so that you have time to actually review. Now, after the exam, it's over. Time to go home. As tempting as it may be, don't discuss the exam paper with your classmates. This can only make you feel badly about how you did if you hear others sharing their answers which are completely different to yours. Remember, the exam is over. Why get yourself all worked up when you can't change anything on the paper? So try to avoid discussing the exam after it's over. Now what you can do is just Reflect on the exam quietly by yourself, but try not to dwell too much on how you think you did. Once you know that you did your best, you put in your best effort, that is the main thing. You can't do better than your best. Now, hopefully you found these tips helpful and you're all ready to ace your upcoming exams. If you have any other suggestions to share, feel free to comment below. I wish you all the best in your upcoming exams.